Hey Ryan, I heard you like the sack. I do. What's happening? Usually on my forehead, preferably. We're in Sacramento. Yeah, of course. Hi. Sack town. We're in Sack town with our bags in the back, baby. Lane likes bags and sacks. I like bags and sacks. Yeah, you doesn't. Boats and hose. Oh my god. So this girl, I was walking back from home, she stopped me and she's like, and I follow you on Instagram. Today? They're everywhere. Oh. They're oh everywhere. God. They're everywhere. Lane hasn't Lane hasn't even been stopped yet. No, I know. I, oh crap. We gotta go to Whole Foods right now. I feel like emasculated right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait till I get to the gym, they'll be fanboy like a motherfucker, alright? <laughs> so here we are, we have arrived in Sacramento, California, and this is right after the Olympia. This is uh, Monday afternoon after our flight, we got in, got to lift in quick. These guys were awesome. They run the podcast. They sell their equipment. They have an open gym that anyone's welcome to use. If you can find the place, there's no signs outside. Uh, that's Moneymaker right there doing all the video and audio. You have Jim McDonald, Mark Bell, and of course, Silent Mike. And there's Katie Ann dancing a little bit. But we were super excited to be in this place. You know, we all uh, are fans of the podcast. And uh, they were just... Uh, amazing host showed us all around and so we got to train in the gym for three days hang out with these guys be a part of their podcast so if you don't know who mark bell's power cast is uh look it up and uh, i think you'll enjoy it and uh here's some new stuff uh we got going just on. ate lunch smelly top to him are we selling uh yeah we're gonna start selling these tops now that's pretty cool i fit right here is. on the escalade yeah. i gotta get a shot of this dead body, dead body for all the mafiosas the whole crew's here Lane's park job of the century. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get any uh, like addresses or whatever. Gotcha. Welcome. So these guys, uh, the story goes, uh, basically Mark's uh, wife, Andy, was um, doing all the picking and packing out of his garage, and then they hired me. So we're in Mark's garage and Davis is the armor. Yeah, we're there, wherever you, you want it. Right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Wherever you, wherever you can fit it. Good. Two twelve blue. Boom. Good. Yeah. Not good. Four and a half. Yeah, it's working. Bingo. Like it's, like it's a, um, We're going uh, two red nines. Just take. Oh yeah, that's better. better. It's like an auctioneer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, right. yeah. No, that's great. Okay, okay, okay. Well, what is the photo shoot? I was gonna two of those. Uh, so this is the super training warehouse where they have all their equipment oh. for powerlifting. So uh, they're hooking us up with samples of every product. So. You try the knee cuffs, maybe it'll help with my knee tendonitis. I already got a slingshot and gangster wraps. So you see, like, they all stuff stock. So go check out their stuff. So that was super nice of the guys to take us down to their warehouse and actually give us samples of all the products that we wanted. And uh, I cannot say enough about this is Filipino Thunder. He was uh, also one of the staff there that helped us out got us lunch everybody in this gym is just strong as balls here is mark bell uh warming up on some deadlifts believe me he went uh, much heavier than this mark is a uh, is a big man lifts a lot of weight and uh, here i am trying to hold my own deadlift and uh of course you know around all these freaks uh, i just was enjoying myself and uh really being in this environment i wasn't at my best by any means but then again you know i can still enjoy training there's mark coming over to check out my form he gives me a little nod yeah a little nod not so bad eh, marky they had this thing in the gym called a pit shark which is like a, a belt loaded squat machine which i found it to be awesome um 
I looked them up, not something I can really afford, but just having the uh, opportunity to train on this, I definitely uh, will look into getting something like this in the future. Just really enjoyed being in this gym, got to try out a bunch of new stuff. Uh, you know, they cater to everything from powerlifting to uh, to CrossFit in this place, and it was just really great. Everyone in this facility was just all about uh, bettering yourself, having fun, and uh, lifting. So here's some dessert we got. This is fantastic. Red velvet cookie with punch vanilla, caramel, and then a chocolate chip cookie on top. Oh, my God. Uh, cookie dough. Oh, you're going to be like, Can I get a taco? Okay. What are you getting, Katie? Katie, you getting the cream taco? Cream taco. You're going to this podcast. My God. She doesn't live, but who gives a fuck? She's hilarious. Funny. That's where we want to have Bark's wife on. She doesn't want to come on, but she's so funny. Oh, oh, what did Dad say about pearl necklaces one night? Oh, I don't know. That was like, hilarious. My dad just will say like weird one-liners now. And I'm just like, Dad, like, and Laura's like, Laura, my mom is just like, Chris, she's not that old. It's your daughter. She's, like, she's fucking 23. You remember that pearl necklace I gave you that one night, sweetie? <laughs> Approaching the B gates, about to get my bags, go see Alberto, train. Been a crazy week, man. I'm starting to get a little homesick, but gotta gotta trudge on, finish out this trip. So Thursday morning, I got up super early, 5 a.m., caught a flight to Denver to see my buddy Alberto Nunez. He lives in Fort Collins, which is about an hour outside of Denver. So uh, we were talking at the Olympia. I decided I'd drive out on Thursday. It'd be my only chance to see him since I don't get to see him very often. So Drove out to Fort Collins, got to train with him and a client of mine named Lauren. So we did some blood flow restrictions, some torture. We had some fun. And then uh, me and my buddy Mike, who I was there in Denver for the weekend as he took off back to his place in Denver. And uh, we had some fun going up to Red Rock. What's going on, guys, here in Denver with my boy Big Mike, a.k.a. BMW, a.k.a. Michael Michael Motorcycle. What's up? See that big rock behind us? We're about to go. Uh, this is Red Rock amphitheater in uh well just world renowned world renowned just outside of denver so we're gonna just it's a friday morning before the weekend uh i don't even know i've never been here before seen it on uh seen it on video um obviously anybody from florida that comes out to see this kind of terrain it's really cool every time i come out here i'm just amazed uh you know you can see denver behind me out there in the middle of the plains but it's beautiful up here so i'm gonna get a bunch of footage of us running around mike brought his dog flynn so uh, I'll shoot some video of us and uh, hopefully it comes out cool. So here I am in Red Rock Canyon just outside of Denver with my buddy Big Mike just to explore. Never been here. I've actually seen this place on uh, music DVDs before. If you're not familiar with Red Rock Canyon, it's one of the most famous and natural amphitheaters in the world. Got to walk through the museum, see a bunch of the history of the people that have played here. They were actually setting up for a concert on the weekend that we were there. So I wanted to mess around, do a little cardio. I thought I would do a little hit cardio running up the steps. Turns out, when you run at elevation, you gas out a lot quicker. So I didn't really push it too hard. I just ended up doing one. But uh, these steps were also like two and a half feet high. So as you can see, by the time I start getting up there a little bit, I run out of power. First impressions of first lap? Oh, it's hard. <laughs> These are pretty high. So, I lost a lot of my bounding strength by the time I got to the top. It's so dry. I feel my lungs like burning. What do you think, Flynn? She's hot too. 
black Ooh. dog. So here we are. Uh, we just walked down the amphitheater. We ran a sprint, not gonna lie. Instead, I did 10. I did one motherfucker in sprint. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't mad at you, Paul. I ain't used to this altitude and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're at uh, Red Rocks, just walking some of the trails around the amphitheater. Uh, don't get this kind of scenery here in Florida, so it's nice to just walk around and see stuff. It's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but these are pretty steep trails, man. This is some good walking length. This is really enjoyable. Just a different uh, slice of scenery. And there's no humidity here. We're, you know, over a mile high, because Denver's a mile high, so we're probably seven, 8,000 feet, right? We're up here a good bit. Yeah. So it's, even though it's like 70 degrees, no humidity, it's pretty dry, cool little breeze. And uh, just enjoying walking with little Flynn here. And uh, yeah, man. So what else I got? So the reason I was in Denver this weekend for, was for one of my closest friends, uh, oldest friends, bachelor party. So this is just some shots of Denver. Uh, I'm a big baseball fan, so uh, the bachelor party was pretty tame. We ended up just going to a couple baseball games, hanging out. These are the guys, my Orlando boys, Justin, Dustin, and Big Mike. And um, it's just great to catch up with these guys. We've all, you know, moved on, had kids, left Orlando, and uh you know it's we're, we're still tight and it's good to catch up when we can uh this is the uh the beautiful stadium that the rockies plan really a truly uh, beautiful place to watch a baseball game so nice in fact that we went to two nights in a row baseball games uh i don't get to go to as many games as i'd like to anymore and uh this was the night game and uh Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, Denver was a good time. I was gone for 10 days, but I was ready to be home. 